ಪ್ರೀತವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are always ruled by the outer eyes and we are fail to go beyond or behind what lies what lies behind what is seen today what we see is that jesus here is near the temple offering box looking at people who are offering the mite and there comes a widow who offers her mite to the outer eyes she only offers two coins two copper coins and for a jew that was nothing for the jew who was looking for any wealthy person who was looking at her she was doing nothing basically she was giving to the temple nothing but jesus saw the inner the hidden and what he sees that the woman has given all that she had all that she had so it is not in doing great things but it is in doing small things with great love look at the first reading of today daniel and his companions they were the counselors of the king living in the palace having good food having all the facilities available yet they could feel one with all those poor people the immigrants who were treated as slaves they did not forget the reality that even though they were living in palace of a alien king of a foreign king yet they are people who belong to god they basically became wealthy but they still couldn't become wealthy in the sense of the world because they were not behind money but they were people who were behind at the lord who were seeking god So dear brothers and sisters therefore what we see in the first reading today is that Daniel's and his companions they refused to eat the royal food and yet fasting pray they are more healthy than anybody in the court let's look at ourselves dear brethren if some rich person comes the way we behave with them and the way we behave with the poor is totally paradoxical both are human beings but the rich and the poor the difference exists let's ask lord this grace today dear brothers and sisters that we may focus upon the quality of our life and not give excuses the woman did not give a excuse saying that i myself do not have anything what shall i give we many of us give that example what can we give we ourselves have nothing she gave her nothing to god and daniel and his companions did not give a excuse saying that we ourselves are bought in as slaves we have to keep to the rules or they will kill us they did not say that we have no freedom so we cannot follow god they did not say we have to keep to the rules so that we have to survive and be alive no no rule no person can come between me and my god no situation no poverty can come between me and my god no excuses i will follow my god the widow was able to say that gave her everything all to jesus i surrender all to the i freely give all means what do we surrender our all i surrender all 
so many times I too sang and every time I sing I feel guilty I am not surrendering all that women surrendered the all Daniel and his companions surrendered all I don't surrender my all I have to but I don't so let us dear brothers and sisters close eyes for a minute and offer to Jesus this all that we are supposed to surrender to God all that blocks us all those things that we are still clinging on to, all those things that we are still holding on to, all those things that we are not letting go. The woman let the two copper coins go. She was not depending upon those two copper coins. She was depending upon the Lord. Daniel and his companions let those comforts go. Their comfort was in the Lord. My dependence, my comfort is my Lord. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.